let's consider let's consider more chemical balancing chemical equations okay so let's consider this chemical equation okay let's consider this one we have right we have i2 plus f2 produces i f7 okay and so this is a chemical equation and the first thing we need to figure out is are uh, is the chemical equation is it balanced all right so we have the reactants on one side we have the reactants on one side and we have the products on the other side and so the question is is this chemical equation balanced all right so let's look at it so first we have i on this side and i for i we only have two and so it's going to be two and for i on this side we have simply one because there's no number in the front of it as its coefficient and there's no number to the bottom of it as its um subscript so when you see like that that just stands for one this is going to be one and then f well f that is just two and for f on the other side well that is seven okay so that's seven okay so here we have a problem okay for f on the rate on the product side there's seven and for f on the reactant side it's only two so how are we gonna fix that? So we have F7 and F is two. Well, what we could do is we can say, we can multiply this by two. Okay, so we can multiply this by two and we can multiply this one by seven. And the reason for that is because seven times two is 14, okay? And what else do we know? Two times seven, two times seven is 14. So that is 14. Great. Next we have the reactants and the products. Here for I, notice that since we placed the two here for the products, this i becomes two so we have two for i and for the next side we already have two right so we already have two so that's good and so there we have it a balanced chemical equation for i we have two and for f it is also two okay great so let's consider another chemical equation so we have SO2 plus oxygen plus oxygen produces SO3. Okay, so let's consider it together. Okay, let's consider it together. So we have re reactants and products. For this one, for this one, we have reactants on this side, and on the other side, we have the products. So let's determine for S, what do we have? Well, for S, we have one. And for S on this side, it's also one. So it's just one. And for S on this side, it's also just one. For oxygen, we have two oxygen here. And here we have another two, so it also gets four. So this oxygen is going to be four. Whereas this oxygen on this side 
It's only three. It's only three. And so, all right. Okay, so how are we going to fix this? We have a problem with our oxygen. Okay, so, all right. Okay, what we could do is notice that the problem that we really have in is that this is this is um this is two and then this is one so that that makes it three so we have we have um no no we have four so this is two and this is two so that makes it four but we want three we only want three so somehow we have to cut this four down to three okay to make it to make it work and so what we could do is what if we multiply this oxygen right here by a half okay if we do that we know that a half multiplied by two over one is going to be one times two is two and two times one is two two divided by two is one and so that means that if we multiply that a half by this two, what's going to happen is that you're only going to have one oxygen. So it's going to be one oxygen, and then you have another two oxygen. So altogether, you would have two plus one, which is three. Okay, so that fixes that problem. It's going to be three. And with that being said, we're done because we have one for the S, one for the S, okay? For oxygen on the side, we have two plus one, which is three. And then here, this is just three. But as we all know, we do not want to leave the fraction there. Okay, so let us multiply the entire equation by two. Because we don't want the, we do not want any fractions in our chemical equation. Okay, so let's multiply this entire thing by two. And so we have two and S, that's just gonna be two S. We have, we have, well, that's, that's good. It's already accounted for there. And so now we have two and a half. Well, a half times two over one. These two cancels, leaving us with one times one, which is one, over one times one, which is one. So it's gonna be equal to one. And so we, all we need to do is just simply put O2. Okay, all we need to just put is O2. So O2 plus O2 produces, now here we have two times SO3. And let's look at it. So for the reactants and products. So for the reactants for S, we have two. For the react for the products for S, we have two. For the reactants for oxygen, we have two. Uh, There's a problem here. We expressed it wrong. We expressed, we expressed it wrong. Um, we expressed it wrong. So we have two. If we have the half of front, multiply that by. That we could put one. Okay, we could put one there. And so for oxygen, oxygen here, we, we know we have three for that one, but here something is off to me. So why do we have that O2? Why do we have that O2? Okay, so what I'll do is, I'm going to pause the video right here 
because something is off to me here so i'm going to pause the video here and then i'm going to look over it and then I'll, I'll construct another video explaining um explaining how to correct it okay so i'll see you after the pause or i should say i should see you in the next video where we'll explain what's happening here